Hey, what's up guys? This is Richard with Crypto Loaners and I'm here doing a quick Crypto Hopper update video. Um, I have been playing with a bunch of different things and they've made some new releases. Um, uh, actually, as you can see on this particular hopper here, uh, my original trial subscriptions ran out so I've got to do a subscription to activate this hopper uh, in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so in the latest updates they've added uh, dollar cost averaging which I have some mixed feelings on and I'll kind of show you in a bit why and they've also added a uh, trailing stop by and that's what I'm really super excited about right here like this kind of puts things um, I'd almost say even more on par or in favor of Crypto Hopper over something like Profit Trailer. Uh, Pro Profit Trailer has this function, and that's why Profit Trailer works really, really well. Now that this is added into Crypto Hopper, along with all of the other TA signals and everything else, I think it definitely uh, gives a an advantage to Crypto Hopper for a lot of things. Um, so, real quick, just to show you a few things. Uh, in why I'm not exactly super excited about dollar cost averaging, but I uh, but I am excited about showing stop by. If we actually look at this particular hopper, which uh, is a GDAX hopper where I'm trading US dollars for uh, BTC and ETH and LTC, um, nine days ago, as you can see, like eight, nine days ago, these uh, were kind of in a bad bad state for me um, it made a purchase and then sometime after that the next time because it, based on my 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 ta it made this purchase uh, market kept going down and technically it's almost it's it's very similar to dollar cost averaging uh, it still met my ta uh, kept going down purchased again met my TA, kept going down, purchased again. This, while not exactly dollar cost, aver cost averaging, is very similar to what can definitely happen. So you have to be careful with that feature. It's why I don't personally, I'm not gonna turn it on. Now going through that exact same scenario and logic, if I had a trailing stop by, um, at let's just say 1%, like it had to, and what a trailing stop by basically is, is that if you have a coin that is that met your trigger, uh, it will check and see like, okay, it, let's just say as a hypothetical, you have a trailing stop loss at 1%. Um, it will, uh, or a trailing stop by, sorry, at 1%. It will uh, look at that current price and see what it's doing. If it's still going down, it won't buy yet. It'll wait until it hits an uptrend of 1%. So looking at, at these actual prices at a negative six, like this was still headed down, negative five, six, this was still heading down, negative five, five, eight, this was still heading down, at a negative 393, the difference between these, if I had it set at 1 or even 1.5, chances are it went up some. So it probably would have bought here and bought here, um, but it wouldn't have purchased these other three. Um, there's a, And there's a possibility that, at, because these have actually gotten close to being positives at some point, they probably were a little positive, but not positive enough, enough for me to sell, um, while these never got close to being positive. So, there's the, 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 the difference. And, and if it purchased after these triggers, because if I only were allowed three or these five positions, um, it, the, the next three might have been positive enough where it probably could have sold. Um, so that's why trailing stop by is a good idea. The only downfall to trailing stop by is that you're potentially eating into your profits. If you're um, not buying until it's already 1% up, that's 1% you could have gotten out of that at purchase if you let it go initially. So as a hypothetical, when this purchased, if this purchased and immediately went positive and all of these went positive, instead of waiting for, let's say, a 1% difference, then it would be a different scenario. Um, the, the trailing stop buy limits um, like it will reduce some profitability, but it will also stop you from having bad purchases as well. 
So there's a, and it, even then there's still obviously like going back and looking at this example specifically, it would have bought this and it would have bought this um, if I had a 1% trailing stop loss uh, or stop buy. I keep saying stop loss, 1% trailing stop buy. And these still went negative, but they weren't as negative as the, all the other stuff. <coughs> so, you know, you, you have to be careful, look at your options and try to think about what's best for you. Personally, I'm going to probably put it on for 1% uh, and, and see where things go. Maybe half a percent. I'm not 100% sure yet. I have to kind of weigh my options and think about it a bit more. So, okay, that's it, guys. Thank you for checking out the video. Check out the links below. You know, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if you think I'm off base about anything. If I'm doing something wrong, uh, please let me know. Thank you very much.